have no idea what's awaiting me or what will happen when this all ends. For the moment I know this. There are sick people and they need curing. Albert Camus, The Plague, 1947. This feels real for all the time of pandemics COVID-19 worldwide, though uh, the novel itself was written about fascism and evil in general. The writer uh, Albert Camus um, thought of the evil in the world and that it's endless and unpredictable. This feels real for all the time of pandemics COVID-19 worldwide, though uh, the novel itself was written about fascism and evil in general. The writer uh, Albert Camus um, thought of the evil in the world and that it's endless and unpredictable. The events in the book take place in an Algerian city, Oran. Described as a dull city without birds, trees and souls. Citizens are preoccupied with daily routines and uh, don't have time for dreaming, friendship and love. Does it remind you modern era of global warming and consumerism? The monotonous days are interrupted by the appearance of uh, dead rats all over the city of Oran. In our modern world, the bats uh, brought the COVID-19. In the beginning of epidemics, around people are ignorant of the seriousness of what is happening. It took a while to connect the disease of many people with rats. Then it took even more time to agree the measures of preventing the plague spread with the local government. Later people didn't want to declare a quarantine until they saw a significant number of deaths. In the pandemics of COVID-19, the behavior of some of the most powerful presidents in the world was scandalous and caused many memes due to their ignorance of the science. Donald Trump compared COVID-19 to the flu and now we have 19,000 deaths in the USA. Boris Johnson in the UK reassured people that there would be no more than just 1% of deaths among the population and not more than 20% of jobless. Despite the recommendations of uh, World Health Organization, Boris Johnson continued to shake hands to everyone until he got sick with COVID-19. Both in Iran and in the real world, people protested against the lockdowns. In Iran, there was shortage of supplies and uh, prices went up. So the rich people purchased even more, the poorer people became hungry. During COVID-19, most countries on the current time faced uh, some shortages in the supermarkets. And uh, the prices uh, slightly went uh, up. 
Uh, it's very interesting that uh, most countries ran out of toilet paper, but in Russia there was a, a deficit of buckwheat porridge and also super high prices for lemon and ginger as people believe that they boost immunity. In the novel, doctors, nurses, volunteers and journalists became the avant-garde of the resistance to the plague. In COVID-19 pandemics, we call all the medical staff health heroes, but also we are very grateful to the couriers and people who work in supermarkets. In the novel The Plague, a big discussion is happening about the church and religion. Do we really deserve this disease or it just happens? There was a priest who had to commit suicide when he saw a small boy gifted as a singer dying because of the plague. This priest used to uh, say that God takes only those who deserve it. Now churches all over the world are closed to prevent the risk of spread of COVID-19. Though Florida considered churches a, a, an essential business and they kept working during a shelter and home command. Many churches had drive through and online events on the Easter. In Russia, the major pope of the country rallied by an expensive car and blessed people everywhere. Also, he prayed for the end of pandemics. Though the novel The Plague was written in 1947 and was awarded with Nobel Prize for Literature, I think uh, people haven't learned the lessons of the book. First of all, uh, the evil comes on its own and goes away on its own. We need to stay alert. Second lesson is that in time of trouble and stress, uh, we might all um, start behaving in a crazy way, buy toilet paper, worry too much about, about not so important things. In this time, it's much more important to take care of people around you, to help the local business nearby and uh, to keep united and strong. I would say that the most useful recommendation of the book was to react fast in case of the disease spread and to stop bureaucracy for a moment and just act fast and do the lockdown. I think people were not ready. The funniest lesson learned from the book is as simple as that. Don't drink Lysol or Clorox. Yes, everybody wants to find either a vaccine or a medicine, but please uh, be careful in experimenting. In the novel The Plague, a doctor wanted to save a uh, life of a young boy, gifted as a singer, and uh, it went bad. The boy died as soon as uh, he took the medicine. The final lesson was to act fast. Just act fast. In the end, I would like to quote Albert Camus. What's true of all evils in the world is true of plague as well. It helps men to rise above themselves. The progress happened in online learning, remote work, self-discipline and raising the sense of responsibility for others. Let's take it with us for future post-coronavirus world. Do you agree with me? Thank you for attention.